Yo, before the video begins, I'm sorry if the video seems a little bit disorganized. I was kind of like really tired. I didn't really sleep that much, but I hope you guys do enjoy the video. It's mainly me showcasing all three types of Susanos, not necessarily all the customization features, but it is me showcasing how to maybe use the like Sharingan, or oh, not the Sharingan, sorry, the custom Sharingan. Also, how to use the custom Susano, how to customize, how to also use all three types of weapons and what they do. That's what I show you guys and gals in this video. So if you haven't already, do me a favor, leave a like and subscribe. I'll leave everything you need for social media linked down below in the description. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Keep in mind, this is made for like, of course, purposes for you guys to understand what each of them does. So you can choose what you want to do because it does cost money each time you customize your Susano. So do the customization, but don't waste your money on a customization you won't be using in the future because this could be your only customization time or your only chance to customize it. So do it and use it wisely. Enjoy. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aro, Bottle back again for another NRPG Beyond video. Now, I sound, I sound a little tired because I just finished streaming because I'm recording this for you guys. But today I'm going to be teaching you how to get the custom Sharingan. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the custom Sharingan, which is what you use to get the custom Susana. Just know that, and like anybody commenting down below, that's how you get it. I'm going to be showcasing all of the Susano like specs and everything like that. There's three different versions you can get. You can either get the ranged fighter with like the bow and arrow, like Sasuke. You can get the swords, I believe like Itachi, or maybe like Madara. And then you can also get the lance, which kind of reminds me of Shisui's one. I don't believe it's his, just remind me or tell me or correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. But that's the three different versions you can get the lance, the blades, and then also the bow and arrow. Now, in order to get the custom thing, I'm gonna show you guys that in just a moment. You gotta go to the chip base, but I'm gonna show you me rolling for it real quick. Okay, so I'm on my alts now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the custom Sharingan. I don't wanna buy that actually. I'm gonna try to get the custom Sharingan. I'm gonna get rid of Isa. What? Oh, he tries? You gotta be kidding me. All right, let's go. Hopefully we get in the four tries because I'm not trying to get tries. You know, I'm not trying to spend that Robux. All right, so the custom Sharingan is what we're trying to get, guys. I hope I do get it in the first try, please. Game. Game is cheesing me. Game. Okay, we're going to try to get it, guys. I'm going to skip this. Okay, so I got custom Sharingan. And I guess it took me like six tries or something like that. So I got it. Okay, so that was me on my alt rolling for it. And just know when you're trying to go to the Achiha base, you got to watch this step right here. Got to be really careful because you can't chakra walk into a building. And so it's going to constantly try to kick you out. Now, once you're in the building, you talk to this dude and you customize your personal Susano. Blah, blah, blah. Now, once you talk to him, you can just go ahead and do any skill you want. I will be making a future video on how to make your custom eyes. For now, I recommend just not doing anything for that. Maybe just like let the game choose for you. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and click on this arrow down here. You can see the different Susanos that you can like, you know, customize. It shows you all three of them. Now, the only one you genuinely need to look at is this one, the armored form, because the other ones really, they're they all going to look the same regardless. You don't really customize those. Now for the color to edit the color, you just click on this dude right here. That's a little square. Then you click on the color that you want. That's pretty easy, right? Really easy to customize it. Now, once you customize that, you go over to this, you click on that, and then you can customize your eye color, which is very simple as well. Now, after you customize your eye color, you can go to your weapon right here, and you just choose a different weapon. Now, when you use the bone arrow, it's like Sasuke's bone arrow. When you use the lance, this is literally a lance. So you're literally hitting people with a lance. Now, when you choose this thing, it's kind of like a ranged weapon and a close range weapon in itself. So I'll show you this one first. Then for the masks, honestly, the masks don't even matter. They don't make a difference in your fighting style. So I'm not really going to equip different masks and everything like that. But I will be showing you guys all this stuff right here. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and go with... Oh, yeah, we're going to go with like this eyes. And then we're going to go with like a red character to make it kind of look like a Tachi's. Ooh, that looks cool. That looks freaking nice. Now, once we've chosen that, this looks pretty cool, actually. This looks dope. Now, once we've chosen this Susano, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and finish customizing, right? And when you finish customizing, you just click complete and you buy it and all that stuff. Now, once you've completed buying, guys, you just go ahead and you charge it up. Then you charge up your Z and you activated it. Then you press X to activate your Susano. Now, notice how I have my armor Susano right here. I'm going to first show you the skeletal form. Skeletal form is legit really simple. You just click to attack. It wastes stamina, of course, but it's the fastest of the three, in my opinion, at least. Then when you press X again, you shift through to this one. In my opinion, the skeletal one's good if you're just trying to kill somebody at the last moment. This one's good if you're just trying to get out of attacks and try to like get them away from you. Then the armored form is really good when you're trying to hit somebody from far away because if I were to charge, I believe my attack, it does a range move right there and it goes wherever my mouse is facing. So this is pretty cool. 
Now remember, holding clicking does that attack. So you just gotta hold down your mouse or maybe tap your screen or your R trigger or whatever to use it. If you're on Xbox or computer or whatever, this is how you do it. It's pretty easy, not that difficult. Now after this, I'm going to be showing you guys the other two or the other two left. Yeah, the other two, my bad. I'm gonna be showing you guys the other two Susanos. Now this is pretty simple. You're literally just slashing. And then I believe you right mouse click to block on any of these Susanos. There's no difference between them and blocking. This is pretty simple. So let's go ahead and move on to the next Susano. All right, now the next Susano is going to be basically the Sasuke one. I don't make them look exactly like the characters. I'll do that for like a future video. But for this, I wanna go ahead and show you the Sasuke Susano or like basically the ranged weapon Susano. I've never used this one before. This is the only one I haven't used before. And when you charge it up, of course it does an arrow. I believe every attack is going to be, oh no, not every attack's an arrow. I thought every attack would be an arrow. I guess every attack's like a slash and everything like that. So it's close range. And the rest of them, if you hold it, is going to be an arrow. And I believe it's going to be super easy to hold down attacks and just fire arrows. So I'm glad you can't really spam with this one. You can't really spam arrows. So that's a plus right there. It's going to be really nice to fight these users. Now this one, I let me check the aim real quick. I want to try to hit right there. The aim is actually pretty decent. Aim, I think it goes right where you aim too. So that's pretty good. Yeah, it goes right where you aimed. So that, that's actually pretty good. It, I hope that stuff like this is like that in the future. Now, when it comes to Susano, another thing I want to comment about is don't try to replicate like your favorite characters, guys. I'd recommend you making your own custom Susano because that's the point of it. If you want to be a, like a Susano from your favorite character from the series, get the spins like spin for Madara, spin for Itachi, or get the Subjutsu mode or whatever for Susano, for Sasuke. Get those if you want to use those. But if you want to use a Susano like this, if you want to use this one specifically, then do what I'm doing. Like just customize it, do whatever you want. You can use their skills, but I'd recommend just making it look however you want. I think it looks pretty cool the way that you want. Like I think the game looks way better if you do whatever you want for these Susanos. I think it looks 10 times better. But it's my opinion. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let's move on to the next Susano. All right, so for the final Susano, guys, let's go ahead and activate it. This is the last one. This is basically the Shisui Susano, as I want to call it, because it has the lance, and I don't even know if Shisui has a lance with his Susano. I don't even think he has a full body Susano, but like, whatever, I'm gonna call it that. You guys can call it whatever you want in the comment section down below. Roast me as much as you want, honestly. Like, I, I need to be roasted. But this is this one. If you click, it just does a lot of AoE attacks. I believe the Caribos mentioned how the other two would be like ranged attacks. But this one would be like the most AOE damage one. So like you do like a, a move that would do like a shockwave on the floor or something like that. And it's pretty cool. All three of these are pretty cool Susanos. Pretty soon I will be customizing my Susano to like be my permanent one that I'm no longer, no longer going to customize. And I think I'm going to stick with the Shisui Susano. I don't know just yet because this one does AOE, but it doesn't do any range damage. When it comes to the Itachi or like the like, Sus like Susano blades or whatever, for those ones, you can do like a ranged move with it. That's pretty cool. It's just that the range move is kind of slow. So if you get it on somebody, if you hit somebody with it, then it works pretty well. But if you don't hit somebody with it, then it doesn't work pretty well. So like, it really depends on y'all what you want to do. These Susanos are pretty freaking nice. I hope you guys do enjoy this video because like this video took quite a bit of effort to put into. Hope you guys did enjoy it. What do you guys think of the Susano? Which of the three is your favorite? The Sasuke version, the quote unquote Shisui version, or the quote unquote Itachi slash Madara version? Tell me in the comment section down below. I want to know your opinion. So tell me that down below guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Although it's short, I did want to get right to the point and tell you guys exactly what it was, what to do, how to do it and all that stuff. So let me go ahead and customize my Susano for the final time. All right, so for the final Susano, this is my Susano. So if you want to see it, here you go. Let's go ahead and activate this form, the final form. This is my Susano right here. I think it looks pretty cool. The pink eyes, the black armor, and then the lance. I decided to go with the lance because I'm praying that they make the lance the best one. Not many people are going to go for it, in my opinion, because all it does is AoE damage. It doesn't do any ranged damage, although it has quite a bit of a reach. I don't see any ranged with it, so we'll see what happens in the updates. Hopefully they do make this a good weapon to use because pretty sure most people are going to be using the swords or the bow and arrows. I doubt most players who have Susano or customized Susano will be using this version that I'm using. But we'll see what happens. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy the video? If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I'll be streaming again tomorrow, hopefully. So if you guys do enjoy the video, stop by my stream tomorrow. I'll try my best to stream with all y'all. Have some fights with customized Susano and all that jazz. I think it'll be pretty cool. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. Follow me on my social media. Till then, it's Mini Man Robot. I'm signing out now. See you guys in the next.